Hello to you, Mark. Hello to you, Colin. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Grape Depression, where we take turns finding outrageous wines and we review them. Thank you! So, what do you have for me today? Okay, so for today's wine, Mark, I honestly don't really know how to present this. You're doing great so far. Thank you. But I was thinking the other day. Good. You know, when you're when you're in a relationship, a lot of couples uh, kind of give each other like pet names, like baby and like honey and and doll face and all that stuff. But how come like colleagues can't have pet names? I call you Flower all the time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but I stumbled upon a woman that just embodied who you are. Who I am. To me. To, to you. Um, Ooh, sexy doll face. Wine. You saw it. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. It is better than that, Mark. Okay. Are you ready? I don't know. I present to you, Mark, the one, the infamous sweet bitch wine. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that picture is really poorly. Like, yes. But if you flip it on the back, there's a better picture, and I will say. <laughs> There's a dog. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> That's a dog, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Do you think they knew about that? Like when they did, did that? Because it's kind of a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Um, so that's how you call me. Got it. Just behind your back. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Excited about that. Wow, but I, I, I'm, I'm quite amazed. This is one of the worst looking uh, like pictures, pictures yeah. I've seen. On but the I, did, I did, I got it for the name, not the picture. I know, I know, but, but I think I think it goes well with it okay, because okay. it's like ridiculous, and then you just have this stuff. But sweet bitch, straight up. Okay, wow, that's really impressive. Uh, this is a 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon from Valley Chili, uh, product of Chili, Chili wine. Um, I, I'm just reading random stuff because there's nothing else to say. There's, there's, it doesn't need to say anything else. A smooth and fruity Cabernet Sauvignon. And that's it. <laughs> uh, so, all right, sweet bitch. Let's, let's dig into, let's it, dig into it, I guess. I mean, what, what do you expect of this? I, I, I'm praying there's a custom cork. <laughs> I am praying there's a custom cork. Come on. We want a sweet bitch cork. Sweet bitch cork, give it to me, come on! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! There's nothing on literally it. Literally nothing. There's literally nothing on it. It's just a rubbery cork with nothing on it. Oh no. Good start so far. Oh, Looking forward to no. it. Oh boy. Oh no. Wow, that's actually like less than you usually give me. So it just said, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it just said it's a fruity? What does it say? Oh, well, it's... A smooth and fruity. Yes. Cabernet. Okay. Well, like we will... The two most basic uh, terms for a red wine. You know, it's pretty light. Quite color light. wise Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't really smell like a red wine. It almost smells like white wine, which is oh, okay. pretty crazy. You, you, can you smell that? Actually, yeah, yeah. now that you bring it up and yep. I think about that. It should be very light. All right. Oh my Whoa. goodness. That is like the most direct taste I've <laughs> ever gone from a wine, I think. Like, the moment it touches your tongue, you just like boom! Whoa! Okay, so first off, it's just insanely sweet for a red. For a red, which it's ridiculous. Is it's, it's almost syrupy. Yeah, like at the beginning, you, all, you, you almost feel like it's just pure sugar with uh, honey. A yeah, bit of hun honey. I mean, I honestly get it's very buttery too. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not thick. It's no. It doesn't feel like buttery. Like it doesn't feel like it's heavy in any way. It's just so sweet. This is the least red wine I've ever, ever? Yeah. <laughs> for a red wine. This is, wow. You know, I'm it's, trying, it's uh, impressive. It's actually. impressive. But I'm trying to imagine drinking this blindfolded. Mm. Like, 
I could I could honestly fall for it not being red. I could fall for it. Seriously. But it would be difficult because there is still the fruit that I taste in it is is red fruit. Is red fruit. Yeah. Honestly, I'm getting a ton of fig. I don't know if that's a normal thing that people put in. Fig, yeah, wine. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, it is so sweet. My goodness. This is gonna be really hard to drink. Oh my god! This is insane! Whoa! <laughs> I'm just blown away by this one. It's pretty bad. It's <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> um, oh, that's so bizarre. I'm just trying. Okay, so I definitely get fig, cherry. Yeah. Okay, that's what that's what the syrupiness for me comes in. No, the cherry. The, the cherry. Yep, you're like right. It, it, not even like a good cherry, like the, the cocktail like, cherry, the yeah, sherry yeah, type yeah. of cherry. You're right. Like super sweet, yeah. like uh, sugar. Yeah. Absolutely. What are those called? What are the? the measuring up. A measurino? Okay. A measurino cherry, the ones in the maraschino. Maraschino, measurino. Those cherries that are. The maraschino. Are you talking about the maraschino? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we, when we get those really, really unique, novice in a good way, wines on this channel, I just don't know how to rate them. I wasn't planning for this to be a very unique tasting well, no, Because the last yeah. one was very unique tasting. Yeah. I got this for the label and the title. Yeah, I did yeah. not expect well, this to th be. That's the fun part about doing this channel, huh? Oh. <laughs> we really get some surprises. Some ones you think they're horrible, then they become good and vice versa. That chocolate one we did recently was so... The cotton one? <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Um, this is... I think this is going to be a... Again, it's I'm so looking at this, though. it's a red wine. Okay. This, for me, I think this is a three. A three. I was going between two and three here. Like, I was going low. This is, this is pretty terrible. Uh, but I'm gonna stick to three because I could still drink this. It's just super sweet outside. No, there's not even good taste. It's just pretty bad, but it's, it's not like I'm gonna throw up. The only thing it has for going for me is like, I've never experienced something like this. Yeah, it's really unique, so like, I'm giving it that. Congratulations, you are uniquely horrible. Uh, <laughs> but it's something. <laughs> That's really impressive. That being said, though, I'm giving it a two. You're giving it a two? Oh, I'm giving wow. it a two. It is very difficult for me. I know that's not great convincing, but if you want to try it yourself, I think you should. There's it's, a link down below. It's really um, impressive. You should try it. Well, thank you for your wine, Colton. Thanks for drinking it with me. No, absolutely. And I'm looking forward to what you are bringing next time on the Great Depression. Yes, you should be, Colin. It will be a treat. A treat, I tell you. A treat.